So another digital device uh, is called the media player. Media player provide video and audio content to a television. This content could be streamed directly from the internet or accessed from the network or the local storage. Media player can be connected to a television directly or using wired or wireless network. They are controlled using a remote controller uh, or in some cases using some smartphone apps. Uh, some media players offer an output in 4K. So the personal media players are compact portable devices with local storage to hold the media uh, files for playback. They are useful when traveling or exercising due to their small size and longer battery life. They often use solid state flash memory storage uh, which is not affected by being moved or shaken. Next digital device is called the navigation aid. Uh, navigation aid can compute the best route between two or more location and update it if not followed correctly. They are commonly used in cars, delivery vans, and ships. Uh, they provide visual prompts and alerts to help drivers uh, take the correct route. And uh, so some special navigation aids are available for the walkers, cyclists, and runners with audio alerts, waterproof, and shockproof. Next digital device is called the GPS or Global Positioning System. GPS uses satellites radio signals to show your exact position on the, uh, on the Earth on a special piece of equipment. And navigation it uses information from GPS satellites to determine the exact location of uh, the device on the Earth. Navigation aids also use orientation sensors to know which way the device is currently pointing. And maps are either stored permanently on the device or downloaded from the internet when they are needed. Uh, GPS does not need connectivity or the internet in order to work. Uh, however, the navigation aid uh, needs internet connectivity in order to update the maps data. So here's the question. Uh, Lisa uses a smartwatch when she exercises. Lisa's smartwatch uses GPS to monitor her location, gives two pieces of information that could be calculated using the GPS data. So here are the things that you can calculate. Speed, uh, estimated time of arrival, uh, time to destination, quickest route, uh, shortest route, uh, distance traveled, uh, distance to the destination, uh, direction, heading, bearing, uh, step taken, etc. So the home automation and the smart assistants. So what are the home automation and smart assistants? One type of emerging technology is a group of devices that can be used to create smart homes. Uh, such devices can connect a, a range of devices that sense and control home functions such as temperature and lighting. And these functions can be controlled from apps or smartphones or the internet. So next one is called the multifunctional devices and convergence. So a smartphone is a type of mobile phone whose primary function is to make phone calls. Uh, it, uh, it can also uh, take uh, photographs or function as a navigation aid, fitness tracker, music player or handheld gaming console. So a smartphone can perform a range of different functions. That is why it is classified as a multifunctional device. So that's it for the this class and we are done with the digital devices. In the next class we'll discuss the different feature of features of digital devices. So stay tuned and see you in the next class. Bye.